Hey Renee. Hey yeah. Let's make a dessert that's really easy. Okay, love it. All right, so let's do chocolate cups. Love it. Really easy, can't yeah. go wrong. Okay. Between the two of us, we'll be right. <laughs> okay, no worries, Dot. Okay, so we're going to make some mango cream. Lovely. So we do the chocolate cups, make the mango cream, throw it all in, yep. and then we'll, your inspiration at home to make it look gourmet. Excellent. So we're going to have a pot of cream. Okay. A couple of choices here. You can have the thickened cream that you don't have to do any hard work with it. I like that. Or you can have the beaters out, whip the cream, get the really big fluffy stuff. But let's do it the easy way because we've only got a couple of minutes before our guests come. <laughs> so thickened cream already thickened up. Beautiful. Some mango. Now we've done four little chocolate cups. So let's do one, two, three, four, and one for the cook. One for good luck, yep. yeah. Five. So we've just got five spoonfuls of mango pulp. Beautiful. It's been cubed earlier on and we've got it nice and diced up. You can squash it down a bit more if you want. I just like to leave the creamy, lumpy bits mm. in as well. So you're getting double texture. Your guests are getting something nice and solid in their mouth, but you're getting the, the, the nice juicy flavours through the cream. Lovely. Okay. Okay, and this is the technical bit. We just <laughs> dump it in. Let's give it a helping hand. Mango and cream. Mango and cream. <sighs> Salivating already. So yummy. So all we're doing is folding. We don't want to mix, we just want to fold. So you can see by doing it that you're getting that nice soft texture, but you're getting the lumpiness, and that's really all you've got to do. Okay. Now, Too easy. That was really difficult. <laughs> so do you want to try it in a glass to show your one look? Yeah. And then let's do it in the chocolate cup yeah, to show another. Absolutely, okay. let's do you it. You got a glass handy? Yeah, sure. Okay, cool. So let's get our your inspiration at home, Caramel. Mm. We call them coffee syrups, but you and I like to call mm -hmm. them desserts. <laughs> because we like to dessert. Wait, 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 give me a whiff of that. Oh. oh I'm in heaven. <laughs> the worry about this girl is she really is. <laughs> so just put a little twinkle inside your glass. A little twinkle. Beautiful. Okay. Liquid gold people. Liquid gold. <laughs> okay. And now we're just going to get this lovely spoonful of mixture. Oh, yum. Just pop it in. Okay, so we're now going to put on top of this a choice. We've got the beautiful sweet orange sugar. Mm -hmm. We've got the rose sugar. Mm -hmm. We've got all of our sugars. Today we're just going to put a tiny little dribble of the rose sugar on top. A sprinkling it on top and this looks magic and it just gives you that little bit of a different flavor so we pop that one back and then today we've got which one's this one Renee this is the rose and white chocolate duka and it has pistachios in it it is absolutely sensational mm -hmm. and we just sprinkle that on the outside so you can see yeah. how delicious this is coming together and the richness of this dish is just going to be so yummy for your guests. Mm. So there is our beautiful cream mango, rose sugar, rose white chocolate dukkah, mm -hmm. and finished with a caramel sauce. Yum! Renee, oh, there's yours. Do I get to go first? There's mine. Okay. Please all enjoy. Right, right. Excited. Mm. Oh my god. That's my line. We've got sweet, we've got cream, we've got mango, and this lovely little nutty rosy finish. It is absolutely sensational. <coughs> Dig in, Dop. Thank you. Mm. Mm. And by leaving the fruit lumpy, yep. you're not getting that real power, sure. I totally agree. Mm. Yeah, a little bit of texture. Yep. And it's not a heavy dessert. No, that is just divine. Beautiful for a Queensland summer. <laughs> Absolutely.
Now we're going to make some chocolate cups. And what we're going to do is we've got some trays or some ramkins and we've just popped some paper, baking paper over the top and just shaped it over the top because we're actually going to make these upside down. When they've chilled in the fridge later, they become your chocolate cup. So we've melted the chocolate from earlier on so it's a nice runny consistency. And what we're going to do is just dribble it over the top, Renee. So let's see how we go. Okay. So we dribble it over the top. Now to make this work a little bit better, we can use a spatula to make sure that we're sort of oozing mm -hmm. it over the top. So we're actually placing it on the paper and then working it down onto the paper. A little helping hand there. How's that dot? We'll just yeah. gently gently ooze it down here. Yeah. Just get a little bit more, ooh, mm -hmm. a little bit more chocolate there. Yum. And the whole shape of the paper will just form the cup. So the you know the ideal of the rankin upside down or the tin is to just give you the shape. If it doesn't work out, it doesn't matter because you all you're doing is just making a little cup. And what we're going to do now is just pop them into the fridge and they'll just chill in the fridge to make that nice little case for us. So off to the fridge they go. We've just made the four. Okay, earlier on we melted one cup of sugar, mm -hmm. one cup of water and cooked it on the stove to make the caramelisation to make our praline. Beautiful. We got the nuts, which is a couple of tablespoons depending on how much you want to do with your praline. Toasted in the oven so they're toasty brown. Pull them out and we pour them into the dish to make our toffee. And look what happens. How cool is it? <laughs> so we take it out of the tray now. And remember ladies, grease your tray because that's how it comes out. If you don't grease it, you're standing there and you and the kids are going to have some great fun. Mm -hmm. And all we're going to do now is just break it up into what we want. Come on, Renee. Let get me help you in. there. It looks like a fun job. So if you want to make it pretty, pretty, you can make it pretty, pretty. But what we're doing is, you know, doing it that way. Earlier on, before it actually sets, if you wanted to have the effect of shards and things, you'd actually slice through the praline before it's set fully. And that way it's a bit like the tear can. It tear along the dotted lines. But I think this is better where it's all chunky and crunchy. Renee, let's make the chocolate cups we talked about earlier on. Lovely. And um, they're in the fridge setting. Okay. So are they ready? Can you check? Well, let's have a look. Alright, let's see. A bit of a tap test. Yep. Sounds good to me. All good. Alright, so let's grab one. Okay, so we've taken the, the, the chocolate cups off and we've just popped it onto our plate, so we've played it. It's a bit rustic, it doesn't matter because it's going to have so many gorgeous flavours in there. Mm. They're not going to care. <laughs> Let's give them a bit of a surprise. Let's put our beautiful chocolate dukkah mm. in the base. Oh, nice. So we're just going to put a little bit of chocolate dukkah in the base. Beautiful. Now this chocolate dukkah has got the chocolate mm -hmm. and it's got the almonds. So you're getting that nice chocolate flair. They're not going to know about it because it's in the bottom. Then we're just going to put the beautiful mango and cream over the top. Gorgeous. Look at that. The toffee praline that we made earlier on is just sitting there as a decoration or a dipper. Ladies, just a little hint when you're making your toffee, make sure when it gets to the caramelization stage, it's light brown. Take it off the stove. By taking it off the stove, you're actually getting a little bit of cooking process afterwards. Mm -hmm. And then that way you're getting a nice light weight. So if you're wanting a light caramel praline, basically white just going onto cream, the darker, the longer, the blacker. With us, we went for this black toffee look. Burnt we want toffee. This, the burnt yeah. toffee, okay? But it's not for everyone, burnt toffee. No, but it's, you know, sort of, we're just doing a little bit of a, a different taste. We're just going to pop the mango at the side to just show them that getting mango. Mm, like you're thinking, Dot. So we've got the toffee, we've got the, the, the chocolate there with the mango and chocolate nut. Presentation, we'll just grab a knife. Now this is our beautiful, beautiful I love this. choc orange. Ladies, Jaffa's. Mm -hmm. Jaffa's, mm -hmm. mango. Mm -hmm. I'm a Jaffa addict and this new chocolate orange is absolutely amazing. It's like a hot, 
um, Jaffa, liquid Jaffa in a cup. Isn't it just beautiful? It's yummo. Oh. I could wait when I got that. All I've just done is that little sprinkle there just to show you. Lovely. And then what we're going to do is sprinkle the chocolate dukkha over the top and down the sides. Oh my. Okay. Who needs to go out to a restaurant when you cre create this at home? This is fantastic. And the last little finish as we turn it all around so that your guests got it. And we're just sprinkling over the top our beautiful sweet orange sugar. The piece de resistance. So we've got beautiful choc orange, sweet orange sugar, mm -hmm. chocolate almond dukkha, and that's all the beautiful your inspiration at home that makes this dish gourmet. And what we're going to do is just pop that there and then that there that sort of shows them they can go one way or the other. Love it. All yours, Renee. You're the taste Yay! test bunny. Right. I don't know. This is the thing. I don't know where to start. It looks so good. So I'm going to go for some mango, a bit of dukkha, a bit of chucky. Oh, my goodness. Great thing about Renee, she loves her porter. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. <laughs>